I hope you are doing well on this uh, Wednesday afternoon, if you're listening to it on Wednesday. Hope you had a great weekend, and for our dads out there, also had a, a wonderful Father's Day. Uh, just actually want to just uh, share a little bit. Um, had a, a couple of uh, events um, that were totally drastic in, in uh, what took place, and, and also a, com- a couple of conversations that kind of has led me to where we're going to go this morning. And uh, just uh, the, the gist of it, the, the thing that I encourage you to take away is, is just to, to realize uh, that life is, uh, is not in, in uh, our control, that things change and things can change quickly. And therefore, where is your faith um, in, in whether it's things going good or maybe thing takes, uh, things take a drastic turn and, and uh, challenges and difficulty comes up is, is, is your faith such right now that you know that God cares, God loves you, God's in control, God wants the best for you, uh, sort of no matter the highs or the lows in life that happens. And as well as the other thing is to realize also our testimony, our life, what we know the gospel to be true, truly is, is vital to be solidified before those highs and lows happen in, in life. And I just want to read a couple of scriptures that, that just remind us uh, of some of the important things that, that uh, uh, we need to be aware of as Christ followers as we either deal with things on our own or we help others deal with life issues. First is uh, Ephesians 4, starting with verse 29, says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen. And a lot of times we just take that verse and the whole unwholesome talk and realize uh, or emphasize uh, the idea of maybe swearing or uh, being negative or whatever. And obviously that is part of it. But the emphasis there is building others up. And that unwholesome talk is is what is, whatever it may be that doesn't edify Christ in our life because he goes in next and says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Um, Get rid of bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, slander. Um, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving uh, each other as Christ has forgiven you. And so that whole idea is understanding who we are in Christ, understanding the fruit of the Spirit coming out of our mouths, if you will, where there is kindness and gentleness and peace and patience and love. And that being part of how we talk with others um, when life hits us in ways that we would never know, and obviously any time, but especially during those times. Um, and that, that grace truth it has to be understood of where we are in the gospel. In a devotional I was listening to this morning out of uh, Galatians, was reminding us to stand on the gospel. Don't let the good news of Jesus Christ um, change to fit you and what your thoughts are, or maybe even your theology is. And so Galatians 2.20, uh, which I say a lot, um, is actually how the gospel is lived out. It says, I've been crucified with Christ. It means I've died. It's not about my life anymore. And he goes on and actually says that. So I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. That's a vital truth of understanding that it's not about you, your wants, what you think is best, but truly seeing what Christ knows to be best. It says, my life I now live in the body. I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. And it's interesting right before that because sometimes the the gospel becomes about self-righteousness. And that's what Paul was dealing with in the Galatians church. The self-righteous attitude, living by the law and making up our own rules to fit and, and he says, uh, for though the law died to the law, I might live for God. And so whenever your 
self-righteousness, uh, you wanting what you want, blaming others. That's not the standing on the gospel that it's not about you. And Paul says that to the church in Colossians, where he says, so then just as you receive Christ as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith you were taught and overflowing with thanksgiving. And so that just as you received Christ, how did you receive Christ? By faith. Live your life in a life of faith, understanding the good news of Jesus Christ. And so whether you're going through things, allow Christ to live in and through you, give you the peace and the hope and the joy that can only come through him. Or you're coming alongside of someone who may be a struggling in life. May that same gospel truth, God's grace and mercy, be first and foremost in how you encourage others. Um, and, and what you want best for them is Christ to live in them as well. And how does your words, how does your life amplify that whole idea of Christ living in you, being the light of the world, so that others will want who you know. I pray that your life, whether it's the highs or the lows, truly is just being lived out for God's glory. Have a wonderful week.